Ho, 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 hello there. Well, I've got a new book to read to you today. Um, Elf Here's number book, one. Santa. Thank you. This one is called The Littlest Christmas Elf. And it's by Nancy Bus and Terry Super does the illustrations. It all takes place at Elfin's Corner. Alistair the Elf was excited. Today he was leaving for the North Pole. The whole village of Elfin Corners had come to say goodbye. Even the mayor was there. This year Santa had sent for our merriest elf to join his workshop, the mayor said. We will miss Alistair's songs and stories, yet Santa needs it the best, and our Alistair is a very special elf. And I'll show you the picture so you can see Alistair the Elf. and the mayor. But when Alistair arrived at the North Pole, he didn't feel special at all. He was the littlest elf there. He was so tiny that the head elf, McCafferty, couldn't find him a job. McCafferty gave Alistair a wagon to build, but Alistair was too small to hammer. He gave him a dollhouse to paint, but Alistair couldn't reach the roof. He gave him some bears to stuff, and that didn't work either. He's buried beneath them, said the elf in charge of bears. And I'll show you a picture of that. Oh. McCafferty shook his head. Just two weeks until Christmas and we still have so much work to do. We have to find you a job. Perhaps you can sweep. But even the broom was too big for Alistair and the other elves began to laugh. Why, he's just a runt, said one elf. He poked a friend and giggled. He's smaller than I am, said another, who stuck out his tongue. And absolutely useless, said a third. Santa should send him away. Hmm. There are the elves talking about him. Alistair blinked his eyes quickly so he wouldn't cry. I don't belong here, he thought. I'm so little, even Santa won't like me. Then he pushed through the crowd and ran from the room. But Santa won't send me away, said Alistair, because he will never see me. Alistair kept running until he found a perfect place to hide, down behind the woodpile, in back of the reindeer pen. It was there that Alistair found a friend. My name is Nicholas, said an old elf, peering over the woodpile. What's yours? Alistair answered in a whisper, Nicholas shook his hand. I'm glad to know you, he said. Would you like to help me with the reindeer? And here we have him first going away and over at the woodpile. When Alistair nodded, Nicholas left him, lifted him up to his shoulders and the two of them chattered and sang while they fed and watered the reindeer. Alistair was so happy to find a friend that he returned to the reindeer pen the next day and the next. Nicholas never minded if Alistair asked questions, and he never told Alistair he was too small to help. While Nicholas cleaned out the stalls, Alistair fed the reindeer apples. While Nicholas brushed a reindeer's coat, Alistair polished harness bells. And all the while he told Nicholas stories, and together they sang to the reindeer. And here he is at the... Reindeer stalls. But one morning, Nicholas was gone. Someone else was hauling the water. Someone else was cleaning the pen. Where is Nicholas? Alistair asked. Nis Nicholas indeed, said a grumpy, old, a grumpy elf who was busily swinging a pitchfork. He's up at the big house. Now go away. I have work to do. The big house, thought Alistair, but that's where Santa lives. Nicholas must be sick. He must be very sick if he's staying with Santa. And the thought of his friend in that very big scary house sent Alistair scurrying home to the safety of his bed. But he didn't sleep. He was worried about Nicholas. And he missed him so much. He knew he'd have to see him. There he is in bed. So the next morning, Alistair packed a basket of fruit and started out for a visit. But the nearer he got to Santa's house, the slower his steps became. Finally, he stopped completely behind a Christmas tree in Santa's front yard. His heart was beating loudly. 
Suddenly the door opened and Alistair, more frightened than ever, dived beneath the pine tree. He heard footsteps. He buried his head under his arms. The footsteps came closer. Alistair was afraid to breathe. He closed his eyes tightly and prayed that no one would see him. But someone jiggled his foot. Hey there, said a voice. You're not hurt, are you? There he is, hidden under the tree. <laughs> Alistair let out a long, slow breath. He peeked out from under his arms. It was Nicholas. Alistair scurried out from under the tree and gave his friend a hug. Well, it's Alistair. I missed you. How And how are my reindeer? The week before Christmas is so busy, I don't have time to take care of them. Come inside and talk to me. And before Alistair could say a word, his friend had hoisted him on his shoulders and begun walking towards the house. No, no, Alistair cried. I can't go in there. Put me down. And he wiggled and squirmed so much that the old elf did. You can see him wiggling. Can't go in where, Nicholas asked. Alistair pointed towards the house, and why not, may I ask? Because Santa won't like me, and he'll send me home. Why would he do that? asked Nicholas. Because I'm little, and I can't do anything right, and... The old elf interrupted. Why, that's nonsense, he said. You're a big help to me. In fact, I have a special job just for you. A special job, asked Alistair, for me? Exactly right, said Nicholas. You're coming with me this year when I make my deliveries. Deliveries, said Alistair. The toys, the toys to the children on Christmas Eve, said Nicholas. You see, it's a long trip and I get lonely, but you could come with me, Alistair. You're so small you'll fit in the sleigh, and you could tell me stories, and we could sing songs just like we do in the reindeer pen. Alistair's mouth dropped open. His eyes got big and round. Then you're Santa Claus, his friend bowed, also known as St. Nicholas. Alistair began to back away. Then he stopped and grinned. But I'm not afraid of you. I'm glad, said the old elf. Will you come with me on Christmas Eve? Oh, yes, said Alistair. That's exactly what he did, and it was the best Christmas Eve Alistair or Santa ever had. Here they are, going away. Ho, ho, ho. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Elf number one. I'll take this to your library, Santa. Thank you. Ho, 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 ho.